I got an email question after the March 2017 Google Hangout asking if there was any way that DeSolo cannot affect the main output. And this is useful in a lot of different scenarios. Let's say you're recording a band and you're just kind of tweaking some things in a control room and you hit solo and all of a sudden while the band is recording, they hear only the Tom Tom. So that could be a little startling for them. But it also allows you to kind of solo in a different kind of context. And we could use this uh, in conjunction with the control room. So if you haven't set up the control room, what we want to do is to just come here and go to your VST connections window. And you could access that by hitting F4 as well. And we want to make sure that under the studio tab that we have a monitor defined and route it to our to our monitoring source we want to have an output defined but for it not to be routed otherwise the signal can get double bust now we're probably familiar with the concept of, as we're playing with our mixer we do this if we solo a track let's say our bass that everything else is muted so i can mute a track I could sell the track, all the other tracks become muted, etc. So one of the handy things is a lot of people wonder what this little L is. And this L is set up for the listen bus. And the listen bus gets routed through the control room. And some of these functions may not be so apparent until you actually click on the main tab of the control room. And if you don't see the control room active here, you could turn it on by the right, uh, activating the right portion of the mix console or the control room can be a separate floating window from your device uh, menu so if you wanted to just simply have that so it's a different representation of the same exact thing but if we don't see some of the controls you want to click on the main and this will open up our listen bus so we can see the L and then if I want to make sure first that this is actually turned on the listen bus and there's a dim level so as we listen to our track, so solo mutes everything. But now if I click on L, the other tracks will just be dimmed down by this amount. Now when the musicians are listening to the recording, this will affect only the, in the control room. So again, solo, mutes everything, listen, can dim everything, by a variable amount right here. Now another control that's interesting is let's say I have my listen bus set up. Let's say we have our electric guitar here. And I could have my guitar here and we notice that it's gonna carry over the panning. So this will be an after fader mode. So if I click on this icon here, this will put it into pre fader and we hear the guitar not being run through the VST amp rack, not applied to the panning, and then when I turn on my after fader level, we can now accommodate that. So again, you have the choice of soloing parts, or routing it through the listen bus, and again, setting the variable amount of the dim of the other tracks, in after a pre-fader mode. So as you can see, you can have some creative uses of an alternate solo method, and that's what the little L button on the channel stands for. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.